Hey fans, what's up? This is GamerGuy7 Aces back with more Spider-Man Edge of Time for Nintendo 3DS. Alright, in the previous episode, I cut that short because that was the uh, boss fight with Black Cat. And yeah, that was just too aggravating. <clears throat> I couldn't complete the boss. And since I already beat that, I didn't want to do it again. So, alright, let's do the next chapter here, the Imperfect Storm. Alright. Alright. Also, just let you guys know, I'm still kind of sick, so I'm still kind of recovering from a sore throat. So, it's... Excuse me, or for the, uh, you know, soreness in my voice. Ready? Good to go. One, two, three. <laughs> Peter, did you make it through? Yeah, but something came through with me. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Those tentacles, they were coming from some kind of, I, I don't know what this atrocity is. In fact, that's what I'm going to call it. Atrocity, because big scary tentacle monster thingy takes way too long to say. Oh, that is the thing they do take. Peter, again, focus. The quantum bridge is building on itself, like a hurricane. It's a massive time storm, and if we can't get it under control, it's going to wipe out everything. Do you know how to solve this, right? The time storm and this atrocity that followed me out? This is a little out of my field, okay? The Parascience boys would be better. Hey, that's it. The Parascience Research Lab. Best bet for all the answers. I'll go there. Oh. Oh. The time storm starting to tear everything apart. Ditto here. Not to mention, I'm playing tag with this crazy Octo monster. All right, so finally. Okay, wait. Wormhole. A transitional Einstein Rosen bridge. You mean a wormhole? Yeah. Crazy as it sounds, I can use it to get to the Parascience Research Lab faster. Okay, so we just used a wormhole, and now we're back in this room. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Oh, I'm not skipping this. Okay, so you guys finally saw Anti Venom again, and he has merged or fused fusion. Ha! <laughs> no, he's fused with. I um, mean, he's fused with uh, Doc Ock. So, yeah, so he's really messed up looking now, and he is super strong, and he's basically a mutated monster. But that was how many episodes ago since we saw Andy Venom? This story just goes on and on. But, alright, okay, if you guys can smash that like button, see if we can get up to 10 likes, that'll be great. Over 10 likes will be nice. Yeah, <laughs> alright. So, uh, yeah. Also, I got a question of the day. Who is your favorite femme fatale? Oh, wait, let's see. There's a lot of talking in this game. Alright, so question of the day. Who's your favorite femme fatale? Is it Catwoman from the Batman series, the Batman comics, or is it Black Cat? My favorite one is Catwoman. I like her because she's more of an independent type of character, like... They both like their the, the they both like Batman and Spider Man, but like Catwoman can handle herself. Like she's not into she she mostly deceives Batman. You know, like there could be something between them, but she mainly just uses Batman, you know, to achieve her own ends. Whereas Black Cat literally is in love with Spider Man. Like she really does like Spider Man and stuff, so you know. Uh, uh oh, th this part was definitely annoying. Power's out. There has to be a backup generator somewhere. Okay, now there has to be a room that I have to go to. We gotta... Oh, what's this? Okay, gotta pull this apart. Gotta activate this generator while keeping all the enemies at bay. Okay, so is this room open now? Looks like an old DNA card. I wonder if I can get it to work by locking it in this station. Alright, so where do I have to go to now? Right here? Oh, okay, I gotta move this. Let's move it. I like to move it, move it. Alright, come on. There's a lot of fighting in this episode. But yeah, sorry if the last episode was a little too short. I just, I couldn't stand it. I mean, it wasn't even that short. It was like over 15 minutes, I think. Okay. Looks like I'm going to need to save this from everyone here. From all these enemies. Okay, let's go up here. Let's do that. No time to fight these enemies. Oh, crap. Dang it. Get out of here. There. Ah, oh, dang it. 
They're all gonna try and jump. I already know that. Come on, come on. All right, all right, come on. Yes, while it's entangled in the webs. Yes, I got it out. Nice. <laughs> Take that. Okay, is there anything I have to move here? Nope, okay, come on. Swing 2099. Swing, Miguel. All right, right here, right here. Come on, move it. All right. Okay, now what I have to do is keep all the enemies at bay while that thing moves to its uh, original source. Because the if all the enemies continue standing in its way, it's going to stall. So I have to protect it from all these enemies. So yeah, it's going to be hard. Especially that they've already gotten a head start. Come on. Ugh. There, 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 there. Okay, everyone out of the way. Oh, yeah, you can't stand this way. Yeah, you see, anytime you see that little purple light from the wall, the enemies are coming in through the walls. It's pretty nasty. You know, I got no time to fight you guys. I'm just going to web. And the web really lasts. I like it. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All right. All right, come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up before they come. All right, all right, come on, come on. Yes, all right, we got it. Okay, now I have to do this with another object. Ooh. Don't worry, Spider-Man, I'm trying to. Yeah. Okay, I need another box here. Where is it? Where is it? Right here? Nice. Okay. I in progress, so it's like I gotta keep all these enemies at bay again. Wait, wait, who's that? Get out of the way. Uh, take that. All right, get out of the way too. I did that pretty fast though. Oh no, you're not. No, you don't. I don't know why they're trying to get. I think that yeah, this machine and this generator is supposed to neutralize all these enemies. Nope, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Uh. All right, take that. All right, pick you up. Uh. All right, I, I think it's somewhere down here. I think so. Yes, it's down here. All right, good, good. We got to break this. Break it apart. There, okay. Let's go back. Now, that door should be opening any minute now. Oh, I can't go through there. Oh, cool. Let's get some extra stamina. Mm, let's go through here. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. This is where you move the door. Nice. All right. Okay, where is it? Is it here? Wait, where is it, man? Ah, oh, I have to start all over again. Dang it, that sucks. All right, well, let's do this again. All right, yes, get out of the way. Get out of the way. All right, who's next? Protecting this. All right, let's see something. Oh, wow, that web actually kills them. Wow, so that means 2099's webbing is more powerful than um, Amazing's. Okay, oh yeah, okay, I'm supposed to hit that door. All right, let's hit it right here. Nice, okay, the door should be open. Nice. All right. All right, you can go through. Come on, man. You can go through. Oh, is it this guy? Get out of the way. Okay, well, that guy wasn't even in the way. He was on top. All right, well, let's uh, get these guys. Oh, crap. There, there's too many of them. Oh, man. There's way too many of them. Oh, heck no. You guys are not shooting me. Heck no. Alright, alright. Oh, no. No, you don't. Oh, no, you guys don't. There. Alright. Too many of these enemies. Alright. 
Okay, let's defeat these enemies. Okay, I have to return back recording, had to answer the phone and stuff, so let us continue. Alright, oh crap. Oh, wait, I almost forgot where I was. Okay, so right now I need to freeze all these guys right now. Just like that. And uh, move this to the door. Come on, come on, come on. I love the time paradox here, it's very convenient. Alright. Okay, so where's the symbiotic wing now? Oh, it's loading. <laughs> okay, right there. So it looks like I'll do this two more times. Oh, all the enemies disappear though once you get it. Nice. Okay. Oh man, all these enemies. Too many enemies. Wait, wait, wait I, I want to see something. Oh, nice. That's a nice webbing device. All right, well, let's move up here before they come and get me. Come on, come on, move it, move it. Ah, oh, yes, I got it. All right, that was nice. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Uh, is it here? Come on. Dang it. Ah, oh, it's too much, it's too much. Too much of these guys. Way too much. Oh my goodness, this is too much. Yes, okay, I'm out of here. Is there, is there another one? Ah, oh, dang it. Nice, okay, what's here? Cool, this is a nice way to escape. Oh, crap. What was that? Okay, that looked like fire. Alright, okay, so now I gotta prevent all these enemies from coming. Okay. Oh, too many is too much. Way too much. Yeah, it gets really hectic as you continue. So, alright, move this, move that guy, that guy. Alright, get him, get rid of him. There's way too many. Man! <laughs> yeah, it gets hectic, but it, it's kind of fun, like, doing this beat him up. Ugh, dang it. They're attacking this. Ugh, get out of here, guys. Come on. Come on. There. There, all right, all right. Are you guys gone now? Thank you. Man, that took a long time. No, you don't. Get rid of these guys. Come on. Ah. There, all right. Oh, crap. Okay, shoot him with webs. Shoot that with webs. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Okay, I'm just going to look like that until... Okay, come on. Now's your chance. Alright, move it, move it, move it. Dang it. Come on, you, you can do this. Okay, this is too much. Someone there is not letting me. Is that guy right there. Alright. Alright. Okay, right now I'm doing post commentary now because I wasn't able to finish doing this live, but oh well. Now basically, um there's well basically there's like six minutes to go on this again on this level. So I'm just like trying to get these these uh these, these generators, you know, installed and stuff while I'm defeating the enemies. And man, my throat is even getting worse. I'm really trying to do good commentary without sounding sick. Oh well. No, all right. I should be resting now, but oh man, I hate those like th those uh those homing bombs. Usually with Spider-Man 2099, it's easier because all you do is send your decoy. You know, with with your with your decoy, the bomb it misses you. But when you play as Amazing Spider-Man, you know, it's kind of hard to dodge it. You have to use hyperspeed. But all right, it's funny how the, the generator kind of disappeared. So right now I'm just, you know, tugging on an invisible generator. But all right. So right now I'm at 5% here, or the generator's at 7%. So I need to keep all the enemies at bay here. Defeat them all so they don't mess with the, with, with the, the wiring system or whatever. 
So the uh, the generator can finish uh, loading or finish installing, whatever. But anyway, it's kind of nasty how like all the zombies or whatever you call them are like all clumped together. I don't know what they are. They look like zombies, but they're like experiments of something. I don't know. Kind of disturbing that Alchemex has all these creatures just, you know, infected here. Like, these were once human beings, I'm sure. Kind of reminds me that, that, that uh, you know, um, Oscorp and the Amazing Spider-Man games, that, that the animal, what's it called? The Animal Cross experiment? Yeah, like with Lizard or like in the Amazing Spider-Man 1. Man, I just can't talk today. Like, <laughs> getting tongue twisted. But all right. By the way, guys, in case you didn't notice, anytime I defeat an enemy, you see, like, red and blue orbs, like, orb strings come out of them and come in, and basically come inside me. Okay, that, doesn't, that did not sound right. Pause all that. But anyway, if it's red, that means red stands for health. Blue stands for stealth. So anytime I get, like, red orbs absorbed into me, yeah, that's what I meant. Absorbed. Not come inside me, but absorbed. Yeah, like, the, the red orbs you see right now, that's health. That increases my health. My health gauge, health bar. If you see blue, that increases my stamina. The more stamina you get, the more you can buy things. So, yep. Alright. And I love it. The more you beat up enemies, the more your time paradox increases. So you just press that time paradox and you freeze all your enemies. I don't think I use that right now. Oh yeah, I use that up top. What that does is, I finally understand how it works. It freezes all your enemies in the radius of the time paradox. So you, so it will be easy for you to beat on them, you know, beat them up and stuff. But once they leave outside of that time paradox, they like, like they can move freely and attack you. But once they're inside that radius, they cannot attack you. So it's a good mechanism. So it's a good way. You can use that to your advantage to freeze them when you're trying to do something. But you can only use it once. Once it runs out, you gotta wait until you build it up again. Because obviously the game does not want you abusing that. Hate these guys when they fly with their invisible jetpacks. Alright, who's pointing their laser at me? Oh, that was nice. I webbed him up. But yeah, also, uh, I definitely will be doing um, some free plays of Lego Ninjago Shadow Ronin. I just haven't had a time to get around to it, you know, because I've been sick and everything, and I'm trying to finish this game, because this game is kind of annoying. I mean, it's not as bad as The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but it sure as hell is way more difficult than that game. Like, that game was just bad, like bad level design, but it wasn't like, I can't play this game, it's too difficult. No, I could play it, it was just too simple and monotonous, but... This game, the difficulty spike is so ridiculous. Especially the uh, free fall levels. Like, the makers of this game love the free falls. Like, they had a fetish with Spider Man 2099 falling through, you know, uh, the ground or whatever, like trying to dodge things. Because there's so many of them in this game. It's, uh, it's awful. So many of them. But oh well. I'm at 50%. But I do so good in kicking all these enemies' asses that. You know, I basically just wait and stall around for until uh, the generator finishes uh, generating or whatever. See, I got them all in my time paradox so they can't move. They're helpless. That's a cool power. Power is only specific in this game. I mean, spider the Spider-Man don't have the ability of time paradox. That's kind of too, um, a little too OP. But, all right. I see. Yep, so right now I'm just waiting here. Right now it's at 75%, 75%. Waiting to get 100 because I kind of killed all the enemies real early. Before, like, it took me up to, like, 85% to defeat them. But this time I defeated them all at 50%. I was going ham. Uh, all right. So let's just wait. And I think we're just about done. Yep, got one minute left. Get the information so I can shut this insanity down. <laughs> All right. So I gotta go through this door. Peter, I think that atrocity is connected to the time storm somehow. What I really need is some of its DNA to complete the analysis. How? It's on this end. Grab a DNA recorder and acquire a sample. Download it into a computer there, and it'll show up here. 
But if it's not already there, doesn't that mean I've failed? You want a two-hour lecture on the laws of quantum dynamics? No? Then trust me, it won't be visible here until you do it there. Oh, time travel makes me... Oh, no, tell me about it. So I've got to grab a DNA report from the genetics lab. It's not a rare one. You shouldn't have much trouble finding it. I've got tentacle boy out. Okay. But all right, that wraps it up for today, guys. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Spider-Man Edge of Time, and I need to hurry up talking before this video is over. So until next time, swag out.